guys, so today I'm going to be talking about wrinkles and how they form and how you can prevent and treat them. I know that my audience might be a little bit too young for worrying about wrinkles, but did you know that 50 to 80% of skin damage caused by the sun occurs in childhood? So you better start taking care of your skin now before it's too late, before you get wrinkles all over your face and body and everywhere. And you can thank me when you're 80 years old and you look like you're 60. Fun fact, 90% of the skin damage caused by wrinkles that dermatologists treats are from excessive exposure to the sun. So the number one takeaway for this video, if you don't take anything else away, is to always wear sunscreen because Skin damage that causes wrinkles are from the sun and it occurs from the day you are born. So if you do not wear sunscreen, even when you're six years old, seven years old, eight years old, nine years old, you're obviously you're not gonna develop wrinkles then, but it might show up when you're in your 30s and 40s. So severity of face physical aging occurs by these factors. One is genetics, obviously, if your parents have really good skin and if they look really young, you're probably going to look very young. So please give mom and dad a high five if, if they look very young because you will probably look younger as well. Exposure to pollution. So if you live in a very polluted area, if you smoke a lot, if you're around people who smoke a lot, that is bad for your skin and it's gonna make your skin look older. So those who work in professions that are um, around a lot of pollution or sunlight are probably going to look older. For example, if you're a construction worker, if you're a farmer, if you're a fisherman, uh, you'll probably have worse skin just because of the nature of your job. Also diet, lifestyle, um, health exercise, and whether if you smoke or not are also contributing factors to how your skin looks. Okay, so let's talk about the skin and how aging affects it. We have three layers of skin. The first is the epidermis. So epidermis is, layered, is a layer of hardened skin cells that protect the body from everything else outside. So the next one is the dermis, which um, is the middle layer. And the dermis is contained of collagen fibers, which gives the skin the elasticity and firmness. So again, if you are familiar with the Banish kit, we are always trying to create more collagen fibers because we're trying to plump up the skin. And then the third most inner layer is hypodermis, which contains a layer of fats. So wrinkles form in the epidermis and dermis, so the first two layers. As you age, your epidermis loses its ability to hold in moisture. Um, so your skin might be a little bit more dry or like the dryness patches will sink in to your skin, really emphasizing the wrinkles on your face. So that's why it's very, very important to moisturize your skin all the time, to drink a lot of water, and to do things that won't dry out your skin. For example, laying out in the sun. The dermis, which is the middle layer, thins out because as you get older, you produce less collagen fibers. So when, if you can, you can kind of think of it like a mattress, right? The dermis is the springs that hold the mattress up. As you get older, you produce less of those springs. So obviously the mattress is going to sag. So once it starts sagging, that is when you start seeing little lines around your face. The third part of the skin, the hypodermis, the fatty part of the skin, also starts to not be as fat anymore. So that also contributes to your skin sagging. So you might realize like when people become very, 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 very skinny or when people start to lose weight, their face looks a lot older because their skin starts to sag. So I always advocate a healthy diet not too big, not too small, don't starve yourself because yeah, you might be skinny, but your face is gonna look really sunken and old, so we don't want that. And did you know by the age of 20, you're already starting to age. So by the age of 20, your body produces 1% less collagen every year, um, which, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, that's why I try to roll my face all the time because I'm hoping to counteract uh, that and by forcing my body to create more collagen um, to counteract the signs of aging. Cells also divide more slowly in older skin, which help, which prevents them from reproducing and just giving you fresh 
skin all the time because your skin does replenish itself, I think every 28 days. And then overall, your skin just becomes less elastic. It is less likely to kind of bounce back more easily and it just starts to wrinkle and sag. So in terms of sun exposure, sun exposure causes a lot of freckles and sunspots. UVB radiation damages the top layer of skin while UVA rays damages the layer further into the skin. Okay, so it's really, really important not to smoke because when you smoke, you are damaging the skin's collagen, which again are those little springs in the mattress. It causes inflammation and you can always tell when someone smokes because they got the little like lines around their mouth. Smokers are five times more likely to have wrinkled skin than non-smokers. Smoking and pollution give skin a rough unevenness, patchiness, uh, weird pigmentation and spots. Also, did you know lines can form on your face from habitually squishing your face like this? So don't squish your face like that. Oh my God, it kind of hurts to squish your face like that. <laughs> if you sleep on your stomach, if you squish your face against a pillow, those lines can actually start deepening and cause wrinkles. So try not to sleep on your stomach and try not to squish your face into pillows or sheets or whatever. Also, if you always have a furrowed brow like this, you can develop lines right here, or like this, you can develop lines along your um, forehead. So any kind of facial expressions that are just really, really weird and not normal, you can actually develop lines from doing that. Also, not getting enough sleep will make your body produce less collagen. So if you don't get enough sleep, you're not producing enough of those springs and your skin is just gonna look bad. So always make sure to prioritize sleep in your life. So now we're going to talk about free radical damage. Sources of free radical damage include air pollution, pesticides, poor diet, stress, chronic lack of sleep, caffeine, sugar, alcohol, cigarette smoke, and unprotected sun exposure and tanning salons. So what are free radicals? Free radicals are oxygen molecules that are missing an electron. So because they're like missing this electron, they're like, where am I gonna get it? They go after the really healthy cells in your body. Then these healthy cells become damaged cells and even their DNA is altered. The DNA of the cells are altered. This can show um, degradation on your skin, for example, sagging, wrinkles, just that kind of sunken look. And this becomes even worse when your skin cells undergo mitosis. So mitosis is when you learn from bio classes when your cells kind of divide and therefore your skin is dividing into unhealthy cells. And damage gets replicated over and over and over again. So it's very, very important that we eat lots of fruits and vegetables with antioxidants because antioxidants help fight those free radicals. Some of the best sources of antioxidants include red kidney and pinto beans, blueberries, cranberries, artichoke, blackberries, and a lot of other berries, as well as different kind of teas, for example, green teas. So you should avoid a lot of things unprotected wise, but especially you should avoid unprotected sun exposure. However, this does not mean that you shouldn't ever stay in the sun. Uh, you should see the sun because sun exposure has vitamin D3, which is very good for your bones. Another kind of culprit is called glycation. So glycation is when excess sugar attaches to your cells, further preventing um, collagen and elastin generation. So just try to avoid eating as much sugar as possible. So also try to reduce stress and smoking. So when you're smoking or when you're stressed out, there's less oxygen to your skin. So smoking will constrict the blood vessels in your skin so you don't get as much nutrients um, into the skin because the blood vessel is smaller and less oxygen. So just try not to smoke or be stressed out, be happy. So we talked a lot about wrinkles. Basically the overall thing is that wrinkles are caused by a lessening of collagen and elastin free radicals, not enough nutrients in your cells, not enough delivery of the nutrients in your cells. So it's really important to wear sunscreen, be healthy, eat good fruits and vegetables, and to use skincare products that really help promote the collagen and elastin fibers. So exercising regularly will help your muscles, but also help your skin. Exercising will just kind of give you that glow in your face. You know, going in downward dog or, you know, doing yoga or whatever will kind of 
get the blood circulating along your skin, delivering that oxygen and nutrients on your face. Um, use special eye cream under your skin so that this area is moisturized, if not dehydrated. And also, if you're going outside, try to wear sunglasses so you're not like this or creating weird, weird squinty faces like that. If you do need to get a tan, which I don't know why people always want to get tan because I think, because you know in the old days and in other cultures, people try to bleach their skin like Michael Jackson did. Like they think that being dark isn't good, but it's weird because it's like those people who aren't dark want to be dark and those people who are dark don't want to be dark. Like people always want what they can't have. Anyways, if you want to be tan, try to go like do sunless tanning. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube about how to do that or use um, airbrush tan to give you that glow without being under the sun. Wear sunblock with UVA and UVB protection. And for every single kind of health happy tip, drink a lot of water. You wanna drink as much water so that way your pee is a light yellow. I can't keep track of how much water I drink, but I just know that as long as I have to go to the bathroom all the time and as long as my pee is a light yellow, I'm good to go. So drink a lot of water because it's good for everything in your life. And always moisturize your skin, especially in the winter time and um, in the winter time and in drier months. Moisturize your skin. Just use either natural moisturizers or whatever kind of moisturizers you have. I really like to put coconut oil on my face. It's really good and moisturizing. And also, try out derma rolling if you haven't. Um, I have a lot of videos about that I will link below, but basically the roller will produce collagen and elastin fibers on your face. So when you roll across your skin, you're producing like micro injuries and that kind of forces your body to produce more of those like springy mattress parts, which will plump up your skin. So it plumps up your skin, not only for acne scarring, which creates a dent, but it plumps it up for fine lines and wrinkles. And I am starting to do it now, so that way when I get older, I won't have, you know, all those like lines <laughs> on my face. Also try to look for skincare items with these ingredients. So they include glycolic acid, vitamin C, which we have a vitamin C serum that we sell, and glycolic acid mask, um, as well as retinol. Retinol is really good because it helps your skin turn over quickly. Hyaluronic acid, which is great because it increases the moisture content in your skin. Uh, and we just said that keeping your skin moisturized is very, very important. You can take vitamin C supplements to help maintain the skin's elasticity. Again, vitamin C is so, so great for the skin. So try to get as much vitamin C externally and internally. Try to take zinc supplements. Zinc supplements actually kill two birds with one stone or kill three birds with one stone. I take zinc because studies have shown that the more zinc in your body, the less likely you are to break out. Zinc is really good for like your hair and your nails. Zinc is something that doctors recommend to prevent you from getting sick. And also zinc helps in reparation of the skin. Omega-3 acid supplements or fish oil pills can keep skin moist and help in free radical fighting, fighting against free radicals, like fight, like punching, yeah. If you squint a lot, try to take an eye exam because you might need to wear sexy glasses so you prevent from squinting. This will help you with your headaches and also will help you just with the wrinkles around your eyes. And that is it for all about wrinkles and all about skincare and how to prevent them. We do have a giveaway for the Banish Kit on this video because again, the whole kit system help produce more collagen and elastin fibers in the skin, which helps pump up the skin, which is really, really great. And it helps with acne scarring and stretch marks and all that great stuff. So we do have a giveaway down below. It is open internationally and all the rules will be below. But let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you have any other like skincare questions that you want us to address and talk about. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.